You are now watching Get This Knowledge with itsmontez.com featuring co-host John Pounders from Now You See TV. Make sure you connect with John Pounders from Now You See TV by just going to his website, nowyouseetv.com. Hello everyone, it's Montez.com and you are watching Get This Knowledge. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, Montez. I, I will go ahead and introduce myself to those that don't know who I am. I uh, run a channel called Now You See TV. I have a couple other channels as well, but Now You See TV is my main channel, my main passion in life, the thing that you know keeps me pushing as hard as I can. Wait, 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 wait. Did you get some knowledge? Are you looking for some knowledge? If you're looking for the knowledge, Make sure you're subscribing and sharing, because if you're not subscribing and sharing, other people aren't going to learn just like they're learning. Sharing is caring. It's Montez.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. One of the easiest ways and the best ways in my opinion to reach the most people for whatever uh, your goal is to reach them so let's go ahead and get started Montez if you're okay with that I'm gonna I'm gonna show people how to do this stuff okay so absolutely we're, we're ready to get this information on get this knowledge and uh, I hope that you all uh, can get this knowledge and use this knowledge and apply this knowledge um, without further ado we're opening up to the show all right, so this is you guys are seeing my screen right now, and I'm going to show you if you guys already have a YouTube. Can you see that, Montez? Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so if you already have on YouTube, you already know how to get to this screen. If not, you go over here and you click on this button, and you go to your Creator Studio, and you click on that. I'm not going to click on that right now because I'm already where I need to be. But you click on your Creator Studio; it'll take you to this screen right here. It'll usually take you to your dashboard, uh, but we're we're on videos right now. Um, so this is a video I did last night. Um, so we, we go here to, if we want to do a live stream, this is the easiest way. And in my opinion, it's one of the better ways. And, and there's only a couple downsides to it. You can't share it out with your Google, Google friends, Google plus friends, but you have a link and you can have people chatting on the side. So if you guys are watching this right now, live, if you look to the right of the screen there, you have a place to chat. Hello, Sabine. I see you on there. Thank you for watching, and I'm saying hello to Jin, Jindaya. I'm going to say hello to you guys. I can see you guys are on there. I can see you're chatting. Thank you. If you have any questions here in a minute, make sure you guys ask them. I will answer whatever question you have. So anyways, so I can see that. You know, I can see their their chat here on the side. Well, what we're going on right now. Uh, so let's say I want to start a video, and I want I got a, I got an interview coming up with somebody, and I want to do it tonight at um, – I want to do it tonight. So I go to events here. Okay. Uh, go to first off, you're going to go live streaming underneath video manager. You click on that. Okay. And once you go there, you click on events right here and it says you don't have any upcoming events, schedule an event. So tonight I have to, I have a show tonight. Okay. And I'm going to make a, uh, I don't know exactly what the subject's going to be yet. Cause the guy that's doing the show has not messaged me about the subject. So, but I'm going to show you guys how to do a test event. So, I'm going to either, either I hit new live event right here or a schedule event. You can also go live right now. You can click that and boom, you're live right now, right this second. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to schedule one because I, I have an interview with a guy later on tonight at 8, and I want to make sure that I get it. So it takes you to a regular screen as if you're uploading. If you were to click upload, okay, I'm going to click upload, and you select your file to upload, it will take you to the screen similar to this one. So we're going back. I'm going to, you know, just to recap, I went to creator studio, I went to live events and I went to, um, uh, events, live streaming events. And I click back on here. Okay. And you can always get back to the screen you want by clicking on here and then go to your creator studio. So we're going to schedule this live event. I'm going to click new live event. There's a couple things you need to know. You always obviously have to have a title. Okay. So we're going to type in S Montez title. And again, of course, if you want to get the perfect title, you can go in and watch um, our previous um, um, show, and it'll give you the best way to do the uh, keyword research. So 
exactly. And make sure you do that. That's important. A lot of people miss out on that. And it's not the, the only thing you have to do, but it's a big part of it. You know, like we talked about just before this tutorial, uh, getting it in front of people is huge. It's a, you know, you can call it distribution, you can call it sharing, you can call it whatever you want, but you got to get it out in front of people, you know? So anyway, so you're going to do your basic info, type in, I'm doing test Montez title. And I'm going to copy that and put it as my description as well, just for the heck of it. And then we're going to go today, so we're, but we're going to go at 8 p.m. So I'm going to go down to 8 p.m., click on that. It's pretty self-exclamatory. It should say your time zone right here. If it doesn't, edit it and find the time zone. Well, I'm central, so that's where I'm setting it at, 8 p.m. central. Okay, and I can add an end time if I want. I usually don't because my shows don't really have any set time. They, they usually go about two hours, but sometimes they're more, so... Uh, I don't usually set an end time just in case people are trying to plan their stuff around it. I don't, unless I know an end time for sure. Okay, so this is the important part. Over here at type, you're going to want to go to quick using Google Hangouts on air. Okay, this is the easiest way, and we're talking about Google Hangouts now. We'll maybe do another show. Um, we'll maybe do another show about what we're going to do or how you can do the other types of encoding options later, but today we're focusing on Google Hangouts, and this is what we're. this is the most easy. This is free. And uh, it's it's the way you want to go. Trust me. If you're first, especially if you're first starting, you don't even want to worry about all this stuff if you don't know what you're doing already. So we got that set up. We got you know we'd put a tag. We'll say test Montez test Montez. Then boom. Okay, so we got that. I know what I'll usually do. I'll just go ahead and hit monetize. Get it monetized. Okay. Then we're gonna go to advanced settings. It's, we're writing basic info. Now we're going to go over here to advanced settings. Boom. Okay. You want to make sure that your enable live chat is automatically checked. You want to make sure or not, just make sure it's checked. Uh, I usually block spam messages just because it's annoying. Uh, you don't have to, if you don't want to, it doesn't really matter. Uh, pretty much leave everything. It is the way it is. Make sure on category, make sure you put the correct category. People always, sometimes I'll see people put comedy when they're talking about, you know, something like, um, you know, something horrible and it'll have comedy as the, as the, uh, keyword. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Sorry. I got clicked out of that. Okay. So, you know, make sure you have the correct, this one, I would name it either education or how to in style, you know, so say education or yeah, or how to, how this is a how to kind of, it's a little bit, a little bit of both. They should have where you can pick a couple topics, but any, they don't. So you could do video location if you want, which I don't normally do. Cause I don't, it, it matters only if your video is specific to that area. If I was doing, how to find cats in Evansville, which is a crazy title and nobody would ever need to know that. I don't think, uh, but you, you put it in your area and you, you move your tab over to where you're at and you zoom in, you find your, find your spot and whatever, you know, you get the, you get the idea. So, um, then we're going to allow embedding, make sure that's collected. This, all this stuff should be collected. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily be And this right here on promotions. What I usually do is I'll promote that too. I'll have both of these promote through feature content when event is live. So anytime there's a feature content on there, that way people see it on their channel right away and promote it on my channel page. So if somebody's on my channel page, they automatically know I have a live video and you can change this one hour before the scheduled time, 12 hours, one day before I haven't really messed around with this much. Um, this might be, you know, beneficial one hour before. I don't know, but I usually just do it when the events live. Uh, if your content is, you know, crazy, which I, you know, I hope it's not, but if it is and it's, uh, you know, enable age restriction, I mean, somebody has to be logged in. They have to, you know, know how old they are. So anyways, you want to enable DVR. Okay. On this, so people can go back if they're just start watching right now. If you guys are just watching right now and you want to go back and see what we said earlier, you, they can come back. They can go back to the beginning and watch it from the beginning. Um, I usually off optimize for low latency, uh, for interaction so that people, uh, there's interaction. Um, I, I usually do that. And I think, I think that works pretty well. Uh, sometimes I'll leave it on the other one, depending on, um, how my internet's working that day and all that stuff. You know, right now I got pretty, pretty good internet. I'm having to use my laptop, uh, because, uh, my computer is running a video right now. So anyways, so you get all that stuff done. Now we're going to go to back to the basic info. We're going to make sure we got everything right. We're going to, I usually take the title of my video and share it out on, on this. This is your Google plus and your Twitter and it shares it. Boom. I'm not going to do that right now. Cause I don't want everybody on Google plus and Twitter to come join this, 
uh, show or think that we're starting one, so we're not going to let anybody know about it right at the second. Um, but people will still see it on there, and they'll probably be like, what is he doing? So anyways, so now I'm now I'm good to go on this. It's very simple, and if you guys have any questions about it, put it in the chat right now before we move on to the next one. But you hit create event, okay? Invalor request, user is not own, cannot manage the video. Title one, two, just make up. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, it did that to me earlier when I was trying to make a test video. Uh, please review video details. Okay. I don't know. Usually I don't have this problem, people. I don't know what's going on, but uh, couldn't save changes. Review video detail. What's new in, I'm just making up stuff, new in, what's new in, I can't type here, new in Colorado. Okay, I didn't even spell that right, so I didn't capitalize it. So we're going to create event. Your changes are being saved, so you know it's saving right there. Sometimes if you use test, it won't let you do it for some reason because it knows you're trying to test it out. So now it takes you automatically to the screen. After you, after you create the event, it automatically takes you here to events. Okay. So there's. Did you enjoy this knowledge? If so, please share. And make sure to tune in every single Monday at 9 o'clock. Get this knowledge with itsmontez.com featuring John Pounders from Now You See TV. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hello everyone, it's Montez McCamish from itsmontez.com. I wanted to come in and drop a video on you. It's a question video. I had some questions asked and I wanted to answer them. Um, one's about Photoshop and the other is about starting your profile if you have no content to submit out. I know always I say you have content and you're valuable and you are the content, but just in case you're having issues coming up with ways on how to uh, produce your content, I'm going to give you some ways on how you can start making your website, your blog, whatever you have that you're trying to put content on, uh, content ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people get jealous. you know it's time go by we got plenty time to let our souls grow i've been working really hard i ignore the fetch and i hoping that you're getting all the things you never got if my voice was in your way isolated at your spot but you noticed that my physical appearance didn't count listen and you feel me then you know the real me first and foremost i want to say thank you for tuning into the show here at itsmontez.com we definitely like to share advice and give um, some kind of way to get you moving forwards if you're having issues in your life or your internet business or and just whatever it is that you're doing, blogging, whatever. We just try to give you advice to get you going forwards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go run down through some things. I know that the people that are usually have watched the show, you could go ahead and fast forward this maybe like 20 seconds. Um, I want you to subscribe to this channel and click that bell right there if you click that bell you're going to get all the notifications whenever i go live you're going to get all the new uploads you're going to get everything you're going to get notified as soon as that happens i need you to comment if you comment on this video and leave me your feedback i'm more than likely going to take something out of it and use it to my advantage because your comments mean something and they mean a lot sharing is caring so i need you to share this video very very important we need other people to see the content um but that's that's exactly those little things that i need you to do so if everyone's fast forwarded the people that are usually here hey i'm here it's montez mccamish i'm gonna actually go in straight to the question that i had it was on this video right here and it was talking about photoshop here's the question magical blackness asks this is so cool thanks for the share 
Why do we not want to choose a stock picture? Wonderful question, and thanks so much for asking it. It means so much to be able to put this here on itsmontez.com. Because as I like to tell everyone all the time, it's all about giving information and helping people. I want to be the world's best helper. Uh, no, but um, one of the reasons why you don't want to use a stock photo um, is because usually most of the people that are making these photos put like a logo or put some kind of branding or some kind of some kind of uh, way to let people know that this is their photo or let them know that this is their photo to, to that they've created. Uh, so if you want to uh, buy stock photos, you may uh, do so by going to their website. So nine times out of ten, what's going to happen is when you click this uh, photo and you try to use it, it's going to bring you into a website that's going to tell you that you are, are, are able to buy stock photos. Uh, so it's kind of like a plagiarism plagiarism kind of thing you know it's not so much but it still is you know like because the person is trying to use this uh, photo to authenticate and to be able to bring uh, business in off of because again like um, there are lots of places where you can buy a free stock film to where there aren't any logos and things like that to where you can edit it down and make it look any kind of way that you want to make it look so that's the biggest reason why you don't want to use stock film I hope that that helped, and I hope that that uh, fixed up that issue for you, magical blackness. I hope that took care of that situation. Um, no, but on the second half of the video, uh, the question was, uh, how do I start a profile and start to get eyes or traffic or people to look at it if I don't really have content? Um, I know a lot of the times I'm telling people, hey, look, you are content. Everything that you do is content. Your opinion is content is valuable you know everything everything it's all coming back to value right so we're just trying to find value how can i find value to put on my website or my blog or i just started a twitter i want eyes to be on it what can i do da, 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 you know all these different things so uh the biggest thing is just uh simply this retweet repost and uh, comment um that's just the biggest thing that you can do um, and it's the easiest thing you can do, but yet still the hardest because sometimes we're like, uh, how do I do that? Uh, no, but really, for real, um, retweet, repost, and comment is just that simple. Um, so like if you're doing a blog and you're trying to get uh, eyes on it and there's an article that you have found interesting, you didn't write it, but you still found the article interesting. Nine times out of ten, there's other people out there in the world that are going to think this article just as interesting. So what you're going to need to do is uh, go ahead, copy, paste that article into your blog and make sure, make sure that you give the rights to whoever has written a blog. Uh, give credit where credit's due. You know, that's just number one. You need to make sure you do that. Or you could just take that article, rewrite it in your own special kind of way, blog it on your uh, website and then uh, promote it back out and send it back out to wherever you had got it from and that 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 would definitely I mean you can look at it from more of the standpoint hey look I wrote this with an idea and uh, so then you don't have to give any kind of uh, uh, well I got I, you know uh, uh, what do you call this uh, copyright you know infringement kind of thing you don't have to worry about that so um, so that's a plus, and your name gets to grow, you know, because you kind of like, you know, you're starting to make forms and stuff, so your name will start growing, and that'll work out. But um, really, honestly, just to cut it all the way off, just go ahead, copy, paste, give credit where it's due, and uh, definitely go from there. Um, as far as Twitter, retweet. Um, find something interesting, retweet it. And write back, hey, I thought that was interesting. Nine times out of ten, that person's going to say thank you. <laughs> people are people. Uh, just because this is a computer doesn't mean it talks like a robot or whatever, you know what I mean? But, so that's just the easiest concept there. If you find something valuable and you like it, find some kind of way to do it yourself. If you can't do it yourself, just just share it. And, and, or just reblog it. Make sure you give that person the credit, but just do that anyway. It's through someone else's content that someone else is, you know, and then they're going to, they're gonna, the probably person that you shared it, you know, is going to come and play. hey, thank you for sharing that. So through then, you just got their eyes to come back through your, you know, your website or your blog or you done built a relationship, you know, so then you can go from there. But 
I don't know. Sometimes I think that we overthink it. You know, I think that we overthink it. As far as you being content and not knowing that you are content, just think of it like this. Um, your conversation means a lot. Uh, so, like, if you just was to have a conversation about some in-depth thing, uh, like the inauguration right now and how, like, everyone's telling Donald Trump, like, um, no, we won't be going to that, you know I mean? Like, but if you were to have a conversation with, like, uh, lots of different people on this, yeah, it could probably go somewhere. It's pretty powerful. But anyway, definitely want to come in and drop this video on you. I'll let you all know that I am very appreciative. We're sitting at 1,640 subscribers. It means so much. Um, it means a whole lot to me. I've been going through a whole lot of growth. It means so much to me. And I just don't know how to uh, tell you all enough. It means a lot to me. Um, but I definitely wanted to come in and drop this video for you all and wanted to say thank you for all the questions that I've been receiving. I do plan on putting up some more Q&A videos uh, and answers to your questions anyway uh, and uh, posting them as well. But um, ladies and gentlemen, it's Montezma Cambridge. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you don't do that, you can't keep up. Duh. It's Montez.com. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. And make sure you're checking out the website. It's Montez.com. Subscribe. If you don't, you can't keep up. Duh. If you want to connect with me, you can also check me out on Facebook. Montez McCamish. Just spell it out. Looking for some interesting reads? Make sure you check out the blog. Check out It's Montez.com. Click on the blog and you'll have lots of reading right there. Without further ado, let's get on to the show. Hello everyone, it's Montez McCamish. Thanks so much for tuning in. I've got another interview for you. As you know on itsmontez.com, we always like to put on important interviews that are going to motivate you to get you to that next level. Make sure that you click, I keep, I don't know which way to do, which way, which way, which way. Make sure you click this right here. If you don't click that bell, you're not going to get all the new live feeds and all the new uploads that I get. So make sure you click that bell thank you so much for tuning in on to the level all right so tell me a little bit about the beginning of the growth like so you're going through your you got the name you got the idea you're starting to stream on blog talk radio you're looking for listeners uh the listeners coming quickly give me give me a rundown what's going on absolutely not but here's a you know i, I give uh man what would i where would i be without this guy a guy named Michael McFadden, who's still in radio, still my mentor, and doing some fabulous things out there uh, in morning time radio. Has one of the best morning time shows out. Uh, and he told me something that that really resonated. As I'm finally, you know, this brother comes and he, back then, not a lot of people wanted to help you. So right. here's this guy, you know, who's younger yeah. than me, who's like, you know, listen, you know, young young pup. Here's how it goes. And, and I'm like, got my ears, like, I really want more listeners. I want to be big. I want to be great at this. And his advice was be consistent. And I'm like, what? You know, that's it. You know, give me something else to go with. And he's like, this is a marathon. This is not a race. And that advice helped me really relax and just kind of calm down. And because I, I used to worry about how many listeners did I have this week, this second, this night. And I realized that was driving me crazy. And you know what? There are a lot of things you can do uh, to get listeners, and we talk about that. But there, sometimes it's just about being consistent. And so once I pulled back the reins, it became a lot easier to do radio because then it was like I, I wanted to just have fun. I didn't care if anybody listened, to be honest with you. So, yeah, in the beginning, it was rough. It was, you know, it was my – you get your parents, you get your friends, and then they usually die away around month three right. all your close friends they, they they you know the nuance is gone they're like okay still doing it whatever and they go away 
But what happens after that, you've kind of built some something, right? Some Something goes out in the universe. And what comes back is people who actually resonate with what you're talking about, whether it be your, top, your topic, whether it be just you. Sometimes in radio, that's why they call it radio personalities. It's sometimes it's just about you. Um, and in this case, I think a lot of it was about just me and me just being blatantly honest and transparent about my life at that time. Other people who was going through that was like, dude, yeah, I, I get what he's talking about because I'm in the same boat. I got put out of my house just like he did. Or, you know, I lost all my money just like he did. And, you know, I, I was, you know, contemplating jumping off a bridge just like he was. And, and so you get these people over time that just stick. And then, again, I, I wasn't worried about who was listening to my show, but every now and then you bump into someone at the market or at, at, at an event and they'd say, hey, I listened to your show and it was great because you had all – and that, man, listen, one person does that a day and you're good, right? You don't care right. if you, you know who's listening. You're good. And uh, so that was the evolution. In the first couple of years, I didn't have a lot of people, uh, but I had consistency. I, was, I showed up. At that time, I was doing two shows a week. Uh, Sunday night, Sunday at 4 p.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. And I showed up every single day. I did not miss, and I followed the advice of Michael, and, and I was consistent. Bada bing, bada boom. What did you, did you think about that interview? It's all about consistency. When you are consistent, things are going to fall in line. Again, like you heard on that interview, it was not about how many people were listening. It was about having fun. Make sure you're having fun in whatever it is that you're doing. If you're having fun doing it, it's going to make it more reasonable for you to want to do it. And make sure you're consistent at whatever it is that you're doing. Consistency is the key. I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share so everyone is seeing these films. So I'm understanding what you think about these films, how you feel about these films. And I need you to like it because if you're not liking it, it's not going into the whole circulation of how YouTube works. Again, click that bell. If you don't click that bell, you're not going to get all the notifications for when I go live or for when I have new uploads. Again, subscribe to itsmontez.com. If you don't do that, you can't keep up. Duh. Thanks so much for tuning in. Sounds like I'm just the cutest little deer ever. You're out of it.